Hello, I'm Eric Singer, Gazette.com with Switchbacks FC, your definitive source for everything that is the Colorado Springs Switchbacks. Roland Vargas is with head coach Steve Trichu. Roland? Thanks, Eric. Coach Trichu, great result in Oklahoma. I know it was just a draw. Mm -hmm. You fought back from a couple goals down. How important was that victory for you guys? Well, you know, the whole week was a good week. We got, uh, you know, seven points out of three games, two of those, two of those games being away games. So, uh, you know, but the point in Oklahoma City was, was, it was great character for the team, you know. I mean, we had, you know, still Ronnie still out with injuries. Um, Taylor and Chris got called back to their their teams, and then uh, uh, Luke had a wedding to go to. So you know, we're we're down, you know. The, but I, I asked the guys to step up, and we played a little bit different tactically. We came out a little slow, obviously going down 2-0, but you know, to come back and you know to tie the game in the in the in injury time was great character, and and it's a great lead into the playoffs. You mentioned some of those changes that you made. How great is it for you guys to have those players coming in right before the playoffs, getting 90 minutes under their belt? Yeah, I, I told them. I said we're going to need this whole roster, and so you know the guys that did step up. D Davey Armstrong had a great game. Um, Nate Nate Robinson had a great game also, and so Aid Robinson came in and did well off the bench, and he, he caused the penalty in the in the in, in injury time. So you know it's it's a good time right now. Guys are guys are feeling it. They're, they're, at, they're almost at their peak right now, so we just got to keep it rolling. You know, in this game on Saturday against LA is very important for us. It's difficult conditions down there in Oklahoma for you guys. Did you pick up any new injuries, or did the players come through that one unscathed? No, we're good. Uh, you know, Shin, Shin will be out this game because of uh, card accumulation, but uh, Ronnie should be back for, for, the weekend, for the weekend game. So, but no, I mean, you know, it's a great atmosphere there. I mean, there were 7,000 people, and you know, they, they, the players could hardly hear me. So, you know, but, the, but our players really thrive on that. So I'm hoping that, you know, this Saturday we can sell the place out and, uh, you know, have that, have that level of excitement for us also. Could be a potential playoff matchup against the energy. Was that important for you guys to have that early look at them right before you go into the playoffs, just to get a feel for what they're like? Sure. I mean, you know, it, it was a playoff atmosphere, and I talked to the coach Jimmy Jimmy Nielsen after, and uh, we both said, you know, both teams are playing at a high level, and you know, as as we go into the playoffs, who knows? Who, right at this point, we don't know who we're going to be playing, but uh, you know, if if we can play at that level, I have a good I have a good feeling about this team. Keep, keep going into the playoffs. Thank you so much, coach. Thanks. Back to you, Eric. Thanks, Roland. And coming up, we're going to meet another member of the Switchbacks family. First, though, let's see who's our number one Switchbacks fan. And we'll be back with more Switchbacks FC. Kaiser Permanente, everything you need is under one roof. Another way care and coverage together makes life easier. Okay, a little easier. Become a member of Kaiser Permanente, because together we thrive. Goalkeeper Dave Lagoric. Dave, a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Roland. Tough result in Oklahoma City. You guys got the three goals. You got the tie. What did that result mean for you? I mean, it was a tremendous result, I think, in my eyes, because uh, we went away uh, against one of the toughest teams I think we've played, uh, you know, all year, and uh, we had a rough start. You know, I think it was a bad, bad penalty call against us, and then obviously, I think the second goal was quite a bit of luck in their in their favor. So. We started off bad, but I mean, we fought, we fought our way back, um, and it just showed the character and the strength of our team. You're already in the playoffs. You've made the playoffs. You've got one more regular season going here at Sand Creek. How much does it mean for you guys to have already clinched that playoff spot? I think it's a big uh, victory already. You know, from from where we started to where we are now, I think it's it's a huge success. Um, so, and we set our goal from early on to make it to the playoffs. You know, so I think we've succeeded that. We've we've expect uh, gone beyond our expectations. Now we've set a new goal, is, is to go uh, farther through the playoffs and through the championship, and um, I think we can do that. 
I'm always a big fashion guy. You know that. You bombed our broadcast in the Apparently. last time you came in in the back. I noticed you had some pretty cool camo goalkeeping gloves. Tell me a little bit about those if you can. Yeah, so uh, with my, my glove company, West Coast Goalkeeping, uh, they allowed me to design a pair of gloves uh, in honor of my wife, uh, Mona. They're, um, so basically they have a teal symbol which represents her struggle and her you know, fight through ovarian cancer last year. So, you know, they were, they were really nice to be able to let me design these, and actually they, they picked them up, they really liked them, and they're going to begin selling them um, in the fall. You mentioned your wife's struggle with cancer, obviously. Is she doing better? Yeah, she's got in remission in October of last year. Um, she's fully recovered, you know, all of her tests are clean. Um, you know, she, she went through a real struggle, you know, there were some tough times there for her. Um, but, you know, I, I kind of wanted to create something that was, that was on the field with me to kind of represent and honor her her, you know, everything she went through um, and to kind of just make her proud, everything that I was doing was, was mainly to, for her, you know, and, and everything she's gone through. You mentioned the gloves, which obviously you wear on the field. We were also talking a little bit earlier about a t-shirt campaign that you had for your wife. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, so unfortunately, as most people know, when you, when you go through a tough thing like that medically, uh, she picked up quite a lot of, of debt, medical debt. So I, you know, I created these really cool t-shirts that uh, not only you know, are going to help her, but they're going to create awareness for anyone that's, anyone that's struggling with ovarian cancer. So, you know, there's a men's shirt and, it's, and a woman's shirt. Um, and I just put it up about a week or two ago. They're very cool shirts. They're athletic. Um, you know, and anything you, if you want to buy a shirt, anything like that, they'll go through to help her kind of relieve a little bit of her burden. Perfect, perfect. Um, one last game here at Sand Creek Stadium. What is it going to mean for the fans of Colorado Springs to pack the house, really lend their support as you guys head into the playoffs? Well, as you can see, uh, our game against OKC, the 7,000 plus, uh, it's an atmosphere. It's amazing, you know, and it gets, it really gets our, you know, our blood flowing and it gets the adrenaline going. And I think it, it improves our play. So if we can get the same kind of, uh, you know, turnout at home, and we have been, we've gotten a great, we have a great fan base. If, if we can get everyone to come out, this is the last home game, so anyone that can take advantage of this, invite all your friends, anyone that hasn't been to a game, and let's fill the stands and let's get, a, let's get the three points. Dave, thank you so much for your time. I really Thanks appreciate lot, it. Roland. Good luck to you, good luck to your wife, and I'm sure you'll photobomb the booth soon enough. Oh, I plan on it. Thank you, guys. Doing what we do for a living, we have to give that extra mile, even when you think you can't because not only are we taking care of people, but we're taking care of ourselves. At Centura, it is a culture of health. And as a group, we've brought that to the forefront to demonstrate to patients. See Juliana's inspiring story at centuraconnected.org. Coach, your final game of the season against LA Galaxy this weekend. They haven't had a game since September 5th. They play Portland tomorrow. You'll be watching that game, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. We'll get a better idea of how, you know, what they've been doing lately. Uh, their last game, actually, they lost to Orange County, so I've been, you know, watching that a little bit. So, but, you know, they're, they're a team. They're a tough team, that, that, but we had some good success against them. You know, we, had, we beat them here last time 2-0, um, lost to them in LA in that last second goal they had. But, uh, you know, we, we know we can compete with them. But, We've got to be focused this week. We've got to come out with energy. You know, since they are playing Wednesday, we've got to get on top of them early. You mentioned that you've already played them two times this mm -hmm. season. How does that affect your preparations going into uh, Saturday's game? Well, I mean, you know, it, we get a look at them, get an idea of how they played. And, you know, psychologically, we did very well against them last time they were here. So, you know, hopefully we can have that little edge there. But, you know, it's really week in, week out. You know, everybody can beat every, anybody. So it's, it's, we, gotta be, we have to show up on Saturday and be focused and, like I said, play with a lot of energy, especially the, part, the first part of the game. Such a close race in the Western Conference to try yeah. to clinch those home playoff spots. I'm sure you'll be doing a lot of watching and yeah. updating of other <laughs> results around the league. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, that's, that's out of our hands. Uh, the, what's in our hands is to get three points in, on Saturday. And then, uh, you know, we need a good crowd to come out Saturday, uh, 7 o'clock out of Sand Creek Stadium. So come on out, support us. 
it's our last home game before the playoffs. Hopefully we'll get a home home game. But, uh, you know, we, we need your support. We need you to be loud and, and, and get that home field advantage for us. You mentioned how important the home field advantage is for the playoffs. How even more important would a bye be for your team? Yeah, it would be good. I mean, we can even get a little bit of a rest. But, uh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't scare us if we have to play that next week. Because uh, th these last few games, starting with Port Portland last, last weekend, they've all seemed like they're playoff games. And so, you know, we've got that momentum right now. And, and we just need to keep carrying into game by game. Coach, thank you so much. Yep. Good luck against Thanks the so Galaxy much. 2. Back to you, Eric. Thanks, Roland and Coach Trichu. A quick reminder, though, about the Saturday, September 19th Switchbacks home game. It's at 7 p.m. at Sand Creek Stadium. Should be another great one. Go Switchbacks! For Roland Vargas, I'm Eric Singer. Thanks for watching Switchbacks FC.